I'm Julie Bartke with Session Update. The bill that has tax increases of $1.8 billion was debated thoroughly on Monday on the Senate floor. That bill would expand sales tax but lower the overall rate by 0.85 percent. It increases, tax, uh, increases sales tax for some, including those married filing jointly who make a taxable income of $141,000 a year, and it would lower the corporate tax rate from 9.8 percent to 9. We want to show you some of the debate from the Senate floor right now. As you know, members, we start out with a $627 million deficit that we have to balance. Uh, we do have targets from the divisions that we need to uh, pay for, and then, of course, the property tax relief that's in the Senate tax uh, bill. I'd like to start with the, the revenue that's being raised, and the largest part of that revenue is being raised with a uh, change to Minnesota's third tier of the income tax. We are um, changing the current rate of 7.85 to 9.4%. Uh, that impacts 6% of Minnesotans directly, but when you calculate in the marriage penalty, it impacts 7% of Minnesotans. Um, the average or the median gross income that people would have to make in order to reach the third tier, the median income is $194,000 for Minnesota family. And according to the Pew Research Report, report uh, the top 7% of Americans have seen their wealth increase by 28%, while the 93% below that have seen their wealth reduced by 4 to 5%. And so as we change this tax that's going to impact the top 7% of uh, income earners in Minnesota. We think that as we try to tax based on ability to pay, uh, that this is uh, appropriate. We reduce the rate to 6.0% on all purchases, both current and those in the sales tax base expansion. We provided for sales tax exemptions for economic development projects in Maplewood, Brooklyn Park, Bloomington, and Rochester. Further then, after reducing the rate and providing for sales tax exemptions, we expanded the, take, um, the uh, tax base. Clothing has gotten the most attention, but we also have expanded it to other goods and services, both paid or both purchased by uh, businesses and individual consumers. Very grateful for the work done by the members of the division in order to come up with a tax system, particularly in the sales tax, that modernizes our system, that acknowledges that we have a far different economy than we had uh, 50 years ago, and it's time for Minnesota to move forward uh, with regard to that. You know, as I was home on the farm this last weekend, I looked around and saw all the buildings that we have, and we had a major building renovation last year. And it just seems to me that it's important that as we've started this capital uh, restoration uh, reconstruction project that we continue on, it'll be way cheaper if we do not have an interruption in the middle of it. And so I would hope that members are able to be supportive of taking care of the building that we have the great honor and opportunity to work and serve in. Uh, I've never had a constituent or a contact with anybody in, the, in this beautiful building that wishes we had less of a beautiful capital. And if we aren't going to take care of it and fix it up and do the restoration as we should, it will not be the beautiful capital that we all love so much today. So I would hope we're able to maintain and, and keep that initiative in this bill. And, in this bill, we address the Little Cigar issue. For new members um, who might not be aware, uh, Little Cigars look like a cigarette. They can be flavored. They're marketed like cigarettes, but they are not taxed like cigarettes. They receive a favorable tax and regulatory treatment. So in this bill, we define the Little Cigars, and we tax them like cigarettes. We also define moist snuff and premium cigars. We raise taxes on cigarettes and increase the excise tax on other tobacco products. But let's just talk in summary now about some of the provisions in this bill that will hurt Minnesota. 
With that $1.8 billion in tax increases, we are going to ask Minnesotans who make $140,000 a year as a family to pay the highest tax rate on their income in the entire nation. It is the lowest high tax rate at that level in the entire nation. This bill will hurt Minnesota families. 177,000 tax filers will pay approximately $2,435 more every single year for a budget that we could balance today without $1 more. It will raise $89 million in sales taxes, Madam President, in clothing taxes on the first dollar of taxation. What does that do to some of our businesses in the clothing industry? What does it do to the Mall of America that has 17 million visitors every year who come to Minnesota just to visit the Mall of America because they have a competitive advantage here? They wouldn't have to pay sales tax on clothing. That's 17 million people that might not come here, Madam President. And then, as I said, taxes on auto repairs, infant Tylenol, cough medicine, piano lessons, tutoring for our kids, all those, all those folks will pay more. The Senate tax bill did pass and will likely go to conference committee since the House version is starkly different. You can follow us here at Senate Media Services by following our Twitter, our Facebook, and our YouTube accounts.